Cláudia é foda, né? What's good, everybody? Hold up. Before I get this video started, what's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? Man. Man, man, man. It's your boy, the one and only King Trent TV, and I'm back for another video. I'm back to talk about the Rams versus those Baltimore Ravens. Versus those Baltimore Ravens. I ain't gonna lie. I was scared. I was scared. Ladies and gentlemen, I was scared. I thought we lost this game. I ain't gonna lie. I thought we lost. I literally thought we lost because the Rams, man, I'll say this. I told y'all in my first, in the video that came out, the preview, in the preview, if y'all watched the Ravens pre, Ravens versus Ram preview video, I told y'all guys that um this was not going to be a blowout. I felt like the Rams is going to bring it. I felt like they was going to show their Super Bowl mentality and they was going to give it to us. They was going to give it to us. And that's what they did. The Rams came out here, boy, the Rams came out here and put up a fight, man. They, they, kudos to the Los Angeles Rams, but we got to talk about the winning team, the winning team, R, let's spell it, R, A, V, E, R, S, Ravens, man, I ain't going to lie. The Baltimore Ravens have came out here and played a hell of a game. They played a hell of a game. Despite the interception that Lamar threw trying to hit Bateman on a deep ball, despite the goddamn bad stamps, um, what do you call it, the bad snap that caused the safety, you know what I'm saying? Which is not on Lamar. That was on Tyler Linderbaum. Fast. Once again, Tyler Linderbaum almost fucked us in this game with a bad snap. Um, Lamar Jackson with his uh, throw to Rashad Bateman, it, it was interception. I could see that was 50-50. I don't think that was Lamar's fault. I think that was on Bateman. I believe that was on Bateman because Bateman, that was a catchable ball. You know what I'm saying? That was definitely a catchable ball. Rashad Bateman didn't show, like, he didn't really want to get, he, he, he don't have the balls. I'm going to say it. Rashad Bateman don't have the, don't have, didn't have the balls to go up and get that catch. And, and go, actually, he could have swiped, Rashad Bateman actually could have swiped that ball away and saved Lamar Jackson from throwing an interception. For real. He could have swiped that ball away. You know what I'm saying? He could have just fought for that ball, even fought and catch that ball, or he could have swiped it away and saved Lamar Jackson from a turnover. But you know, he didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? He let he allowed his defender to run past him and get that interception, which is a boneheaded, um, this boneheaded, boneheaded decision by Rashad Bateman. But anyway, let's talk about the good stuff in this game, ladies and gentlemen. The Baltimore Ravens came out here. And showed the world that they can come back from being down. You know how people, you know how I watched Nick Wright. You know what I'm saying? I watched Nick Wright. You know what I'm saying? First things first, I watched Nick Wright. And I heard, I, I watched how he was talking about the Ravens have not trailed this year. And he said he don't trust that if we went down double digits, we will not come back and win the game. Oh. Um, I believe the Ravens went down in this game. I don't think it was double digits. No, I ain't gonna say it's, I was. Just, I don't think it was double digits. But other than that, they went down. They went down at the point in this game. It was 14-20. It was definitely a fourteen to twenty game. Right? Was it fourteen twenty or was it fourteen seventeen? Whatever it was, it was fourteen twenty. I, I believe it was fourteen twenty actually. Fourteen twenty. And the Ravens showed the world. If you got number eight on your team, you're going to win. As long as you got number eight on your team, you're going to win. Because Lamar Jackson came out here and lit them boys up. 
with his arm. The running game was quiet. I would say the running game was definitely quiet. The running game was definitely real quiet. I, I would say the running game, we actually wasn't really running the ball as much, which I thought we should have ran the ball a lot more. But other than that, the running game was a little quiet. It was quiet in this game. So we know what happened. Lamar Jackson in his arm. So Lamar Jackson torched these boys for 300. I believe it was 316 yards through the air. Three fucking TDs and one pick. He had three fucking TDs and one pick. That boy, Lamar Jackson, is a bad... Like what Steve A. say about Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson is a bad man. He's a bad man. And you just got to watch out for this man. Lamar Jackson... That was an MVP type esque performance by Lamar Jackson. Despite the interception, he that was an MVP type performance. Especially the last play that put us up before we went to overtime. The, 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 the last touchdown pass that he threw to Zay Flowers. That was clutch in the game. Now people say Lamar Jackson can't not do that. They say Lamar Jackson, when it comes down to late in the fourth quarter and you need a touchdown pass. And you need him to be clutch and throw a pass to um to his wide receivers, you know what I'm saying? And and you need him the most. They say he folds in the bag. Um I didn't see him fold right there. Huh? 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 Where he fold at? Huh? Huh? Hey, other fan bases, where he fold at? Where did Lamar Jackson fold at? He didn't fold at nothing. He didn't fold at nothing but through that goddamn nice pass. To Zay Flowers in the fucking end zone to win us this game. A nice dot. A nice dot to Zay Flowers. You know, Zay Flowers had to die for it. You know what I'm saying? And catch that bitch. But it doesn't matter. He caught that bitch and it was a touchdown. But this is here. This is where I got to get. This is where I got to say Lamar Jackson is definitely an MVP type candidate. He's a MVP type candidate. I don't care. I don't care. Lamar Jackson is an MVP type candidate. And we got to put respect on that brother's name. We got to put respect on that brother's name. He went out there and beat a past former Super Bowl championship team. He beat Aaron Donto. He beat Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald did not get no sack on Lamar Jackson today. No sack. Kudos to the offensive line. Kudos to the offensive line for not allowing Aaron Donald to put his print, his handprints on this fucking game. And another thing. The icing, well, we're going to talk about the first touchdown pass. Isaiah Likely being wide open. That was a nice play. The long pass to Odell Beckham, nice play. The slate, the Zay Flowers, potential game-winning touchdown play that would have won us the game. But we gonna get back to it. We gonna get to the next clip. We gonna get to the next clip and see why I was pissed off. But the potential, the, that touchdown pass, like I said, the Zay Flowers, the the game winner. That was cool. To put us up, that was cool. I like it, especially the two-point conversion. That was a nice stop too. Right there too, to, to make it thirty-one or twenty-eight. Cool. Now let's talk about this defense. The Baltimore Ravens defense. Y'all gave up. Um, Baltimore Ravens defense did not play good. They did not play good at all. They they played. I ain't gonna lie. The defense was ass today. I'm gonna say this is probably the worst game the defense had. This is the worst game the defense had. I'll say it. The worst game. This is definitely the worst game the defense had this for this season. Um, you talking about you gave up 30 fucking one points, bro. The defense gave up 31 fucking points. 31. 31. But not even that. There's one player on the team. I'm about to cook his ass. Because we gave this nigga a hundred million fucking dollars. And he's out here getting burnt like fucking crab cakes. Getting cooked up like fucking crab cakes out here. And his name is Marlon fucking Humphrey. Uh, Marlon Humphrey. You get cooked. That last drive for the Rams. Cook, 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 cook. Getting cooked. 
Slip down, you slip, you fall. I understand, it's raining. It's raining outside. I understand, it's a wet field. Shit, sometimes shit happens, you know what I'm saying? You might use your grip on the, on the field and slip. I, I give you that one. But the other one, the other play, you just got flat out burnt, my nigga. You just got out flat out burnt. You just got flat out burnt, and that was embarrassing. That was definitely embarrassing. Definitely embarrassing. And then a play that was in the end zone. The game-winning interception that you could have had. You let Demarcus Robinson sweep that bitch out your hand? You let Demarcus Robinson rip the ball out your hand? Yeah, Marlon Humphrey. Marlon, I ain't gonna lie. I think Marlon should be the second stringer. Or at least the third stringer at this point. Somebody should start. Somebody should... Somebody else should start in his position because he's not right. Martin Humphrey is not right. He's not right this year. He's he's definitely he's a liability. He's a liability on, on on the defense right now. And I'll tell you this: his this is probably where it's going to hurt us in the playoffs. Marlon Humphrey getting burnt. Those type of plays will bite us in the ass if we don't do something and make no changes at that position. I'll say that right now. If we don't make no changes right there, we going we, that's going to bite us in the ass. If you don't get his shit together. But anyway. Let's talk about the overtime. Okay, we came out there. We won the we won the coin toss, you know what I'm saying? Lamar, the offense got stalled out. You know, we punted it off back to the uh, Rams. Um, the Rams, the defense came up clutch. Got that stop. I liked it. They stepped up in, the, in overtime right there. Uh, who else? And then... The Rams punted it off, and this is where I got happy. That boy, Tylen Wallace, with the game-winning punt return, might have put, might have took Devin Duvernay's job, because that game-winning punt return was the clutchest play. That was clutch, my nigga. That was clutch. And I talk about that's how you win. That's how you win a fucking Ravens game. That's how you win. That's how you win an ugly game like this. You catch a punt return and you take that bitch to the crib. You take that shit to the crib. And I like that shit. I like that shit. And that's how you win a Ravens game. So that's all I got for y'all guys today. Leave a like and a comment down below. Comment with your thoughts about this game. And also, subscribe to your boy. My name is King Shrimp TV. And I catch y'all later. I catch y'all either tomorrow or Tuesday for the Ravens and Jacksonville Sunday night football game preview. So I catch y'all later. Peace out, my friends. I, ca I catch y'all in a little bit. Peace out. Bang. Open this eyes of their high